What's up everybody, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com and today I'm going to be comparing the Sadva and Wink Bed mattresses. I'm gonna give you my recommendations, complaints, and who I think would benefit from going with one of these mattresses over the other. So stick around to find out if you should buy the Sadva or Wink Bed mattress. So the first way we're gonna put the Sadva and Wink Beds head to head is by going over the materials used in the construction of both these mattresses. So we'll first take a look at the Sattva mattress, which is a traditional inner spring build. So it is an online company, but they don't come wrapped up in a box like you see a lot of these online mattresses. It's more of a classic coil on coil structure. Now the cover of the Sattva is an organic cotton cover. It's pretty breathable, which is nice. And it's quilted on top for some initial softness in the mattress. It has a Euro style pillow top. So that means basically it's got this section on top with some soft foams, memory foams in the top that you can kind of sink into for pressure relief with some pocketed coils that you kind of give you some initial support to the structure right off the bat. Now below that you have the support center of the mattress which are steel coils, more of a traditional steel coil feel that you're used to in uh, older mattresses. The coil on coil structure you see there gives it really great support and really great bounce. Now I want to mention that wrapped around the entirety of the Sattva is a high density polyfoam edge support section. And basically what that does is it allows you to sleep all the way to the end of the bed without worrying about the collapsing the side and feeling like you're going to roll out of bed. So that's a really big bonus for couples. So now taking a look at what the Wink Bed has to offer, I think you'll notice that it's pretty similar construction with some minor differences. The first one comes in the fact that the Wink Bed is now a bed in a box hybrid mattress. So it does actually come kind of rolled up in a box and you kind of, you let it expand over the course of a night or a couple hours before you actually sleep on it. Now the cover of the Wink Bed is a tensile blend, which is a eucalyptus material. So it's a natural material. It's known for being really breathable. I think it helps the bed sleep really cool. Now it also has kind of that Euro style pillow top look to it and feel to it. So there's some gel memory foams in there for some kind of initial softness right off the bat, as well as some pocketed micro coils on top of the bed give you again that initial bounce and support you're going to get as you sink a little bit into that pillow top but it does have nice support below it now below the micro coil level instead of the steel coils you see in the Sattva mattress you have a pocketed coil support layer and this layer is interesting because it's got seven zones to it so zone support is nice because it allows you to sink in a little bit more in places like your shoulders where you need a little bit more sinkage for pressure relief while still supporting heavier portions of your body like your hips, the center mass of your body to encourage kind of better spine alignment in multiple positions. So that's kind of the main differences there between the wink beds and Safa constructions. Now let's take a look at the differences in the feel of the mattresses. So now that we've seen the materials that make up the Sattva and Wink Bed mattresses, I wanna talk about what they actually feel like. I'm gonna start out with the Sattva, and I should point out that while the Sattva does come in three different firmness levels, for the purpose of this comparison, I'm gonna be specifically talking about their medium version, which they call luxury firm. And Sattva says that about 80% of people actually choose this option. Now, in my opinion, the Sattva luxury firm comes in at like a seven out of 10 on the firmness scale, which is just a hair to the firmer side. I generally consider a medium firmness to be in that six to six and a half out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. Now, when I first lie down on the Sattva, there is some initial sinkage into that quilted cover, giving you some nice softness to it, but there's a quick transition to the pocketed coils in that Euro style pillow top to give you a nice spine alignment, especially while lying on your back. As I'm rolling around, changing positions, I notice that the coil on coil structure makes the Sattva really bouncy. So there's really great mobility here. You definitely don't have to worry about feeling stuck on the Sattva while you're changing positions. Rolling onto my side on the Sattva, I can feel that it's a little bit firmer. I think most combo sleepers that just kind of roll onto their side for a portion of the night would be fine here. Just want to be really conscious of extra firm mattresses when you are a side sleeper. I think if you are a really strict side sleeper or you have really broad shoulders, you want to look at maybe even the plush version of the Sattva mattress over the luxury firm. Rolling onto my stomach, the thing that I'm looking at most is whether or not it has really strong support, which is important for keeping my hips up from sinking too deep into the mattress and keeping my spine aligned in a good position. Again, I find the Sattva Luxury Firm to be just a hair to the firmer side, and I felt like it was doing a good job of supporting my hips in this position. If you are a bit bigger or someone who just really loves a super firm sleeping service, maybe go with the firm version of the Sattva, but I think most stomach sleepers would be fine on the Luxury Firm version. 
Now let's talk about the Wink Bed mattress, which also comes in three different firmness levels. And for the purpose of this comparison, we'll be looking specifically at the medium version of it. Now, like this Sattva, I think the large majority of sleepers out there is gonna prefer the feel of the medium version of the Wink Bed mattress. I personally found it to be right in line with this Sattva at like a seven out of 10 on the firmness scale, but a few other testers here at Sleepopolis jump on the mattress and they found it to be a little bit softer than I did. Not too much, just in that like six to six and a half out of 10 range. Now lying on my back on the wing bed, I got this nice mix of support while still being able to sink into the mattress a little bit. I tend to think that people who sleep mainly on their back are lucky and that they can be a little less specific on the firmness of the mattress they're sleeping on. So on the wing bed, you get this nice mixture of pressure relief and support, and I think that's really great for back sleepers. And much like the Sattva, the wing bed has excellent bounce and mobility, so because you're gonna feel more on top of the mattress than in it, you're gonna be able to change positions really easily. I found side sleeping on the wing bed mattress to be pretty nice and I did find it to be a little bit softer in this position than I did on my back and probably a bit softer than the Sattva was as well. Uh, you know, I give that mostly to the zone support system of the mattress which allows you to sink a little bit further in at places like the shoulders where you need to be extra conscious of pressure points forming. Now this is the medium version of the mattress and I think most side sleepers and a lot of combo sleepers would be fine with the medium version. But if you are looking for like a super ultra plush feel to the mattress, you may wanna test out the softer version of the wing bed. Now rolling onto my stomach, I found that there was decent support for my hips in this situation. I think wing beds is fine for combo stomach sleepers. I think the soft is probably a little bit better uh, for strict stomach sleepers. However, wing bed does have a firm version if you wanna check that out, if you were like, really firm mattresses. And if you are a bit heavier, I should point out that Winkbed also has a Winkbed Plus version uh, that's specifically designed for heavier sleepers, but we're gonna talk more about that later on in the review. Now we're talking about these Safa and Winkbed mattresses today, but both companies do offer different models for different fields. So I wanna to touch briefly on those other models here. We'll start out with the Zenhaven mattress, which is Safa's all latex model. It's flippable with different furnaces on either side. I think it uses really high quality, all natural materials. I should point out that it is a little bit more expensive than both mattresses we're talking about today with a queen size version coming in at about $1,900. Next up is the Lumen Leaf, which is the memory foam mattress model from Sattva. It's gonna provide you with a lot more sinkage and contouring than you're gonna get out of either the Sattva or the Wink Bed or the Zen Haven for that matter. Now, in terms of memory foam mattresses, they can have a reputation for trapping a bit of body heat, but I think that the Lumen Leaf does a really good job of avoiding that by uh, including a gel infusion in the memory foam up top, as well as a really breathable organic cotton cover. And in terms of price, the queen size version of the Lumen Leaf comes in at about $1,300. Finally, we have the Winkbed Plus mattress, which is really similar to the Winkbed. It just doesn't arrive compressed in a box. Now, the Winkbed Plus is unique in the conversation today because it's specifically designed with people weighing over 250, 300 pounds in mind. Now, it's got really strong support and it's got great durable materials. The queen size version of the mattress comes in at just about $1,800. Now, those are really quick points about each of these other models in the lines from Sattva and Winkbed, but if you're looking for the full reviews, you can find those and many more at sleepopolis.com. Now listen, I like both these Sattva and Winkbed mattresses, and I think there's really great positives to both of them, but I wanna give you some of the reasons you might wanna go with one over the other. So we're gonna start with my recommendations for the Sattva, which I think is great if you're looking for that traditional inner spring feel. Now it's got that coil on coil structure with the uh, steel coil base, and a lot of people just are not ready for a bed to come out of the box. So if you're shopping online and you want more of a traditional mattress, the Sattva is definitely the way to go. Also, I think it's just a little bit better for couples. Part of that is because it's got great edge support from that high density polyfoam uh, wrapped around the entirety of the mattress. So you're gonna feel a little bit better supported near the ends of the bed. Uh, so you're not gonna have to worry about collapsing it, feel like that unstable feeling like you're gonna roll out of the bed when you get close to the side. And now for some of the reasons I think the Wink Bed is a little bit better choice for you if you're looking for that zone support. So basically uh, those pocketed coils at the base of the mattress that allow you to sink in a little bit more at the shoulders while still getting that strong support 
at the waist is nice for combo sleepers because you can change positions a little bit. Uh, and when you're on your side, it gives you that nice spine alignment. So that's why I really like the zone support from the wink bed. And also I think it just sleeps a little bit cooler thanks to the tensile cover, which is a little bit more breathable. Uh, so if you do tend to overheat a little bit during the night, I think the wink bed would be a better choice. Now, if you've gone through this entire comparison and even the pros and cons section, you're still not quite sure which of these mattresses you wanna go with. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the purchasing information for these Sadfa and Winkbed mattresses, and maybe that'll help make up your mind. Now, in terms of a trial period, they both offer 120 night in-home trials, so you get to have the mattress in your house and sleep on it for up to four months while deciding whether or not it's the right bed for you. Now, in terms of a warranty, you'll wanna check out exactly what uh, each of these warranties covers on their website, but the Safa offers a 15 year warranty, which is above the general kind of 10 year warranty we see for a lot of online mattresses. While the Wink Beds has a really impressive lifetime warranty, again, uh, you'll wanna check out exactly what that covers. Now in terms of shipping, they both ship for free, but the difference comes in that the Safa is a traditional Interspring mattress that does not compress in a box. They do have white glove delivery available and they will remove your old mattress with that delivery. Uh, while the Wink Bed, again, does come compressed in a box, so you'll kind of unwrap it and let it uh, expand over the course of a couple hours or overnight before you actually sleep on it. Now, in terms of price, the Sattva has the queen size version come in at about $1,100, but if you use the link on the Sleepopolis website to make your purchase, uh, you'll get a $75 Visa gift card. I think that comes after the sleep trial is over. While the Wink Bed costs about $1,600 for a queen size version of the mattress, but if you use the code SLEEPOPOLIS200 at checkout, you will get $200 off. So that's it for my comparison of the Sattva and Winkbed mattresses, and hopefully it helped you make your decision between the two of them. Now, if you're still on the hunt for a mattress, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're gonna keep putting out more reviews. It's gonna help you make your decision. And please follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements. And be sure to check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.